Claire would like to use her money for something meaningful and has chosen to support an organization that provides free lunch in Indian schools. But is the effect of this contribution really that the children get healthier and consequently learn better? How can this be tested by a rigorous impact evaluation? Let us consider a few schools in which free lunchtime meals are distributed. One possibility would be to assess the children's performance at school once before the implementation of the project and once afterwards. However, whether the subsequent improvement in performance can be attributed to the free lunch is not entirely demonstrable. Other possible influences, such as a better harvest or more committed teachers that were present during the same period, could also be the cause. So why not compare the performance at school of children who regularly get free lunch with that of children who do not get free lunch? This comparison is questionable too since it is perfectly possible that the lunch would be distributed in schools where children already have a better diet and health care so that their performance would be better from the start. Claire reflects that one should ideally compare exactly the same children at exactly the same time, once with and once without free lunch. But unfortunately this is not possible. No one can simultaneously eat and not eat. However, there are so-called experimental or quasi-experimental methods which use a comparison or control group to approximate to this hypothetical comparison as closely as possible. If one of those methods is applied, we refer to a rigorous impact evaluation. The most reliable way to create these groups is randomization, which just means selection by chance. How does this work? Let us suppose that the organization has just enough money to distribute meals in 500 schools. It draws lots among a thousand schools to select 500 at random, which will receive free meals and 500 that will not. Randomization ensures that, on average, the groups are as similar as possible in all respects. This does not only include characteristics that can then be measured, such as the children's weight, but also others that cannot easily be measured, for example, how motivated a child is. In this way, other causes for improved performance at school can be excluded, and the change in educational performance can be attributed to the free provision of school lunch alone. Using rigorous impact evaluation methods, the effectiveness of the project that Claire wants to support can certainly be demonstrated. And she can be sure that her money is put to good use.